Welcome to the Kendi and Rabo podcast, episode 10, recorded in Kendi's box room. Jeez, we're away. And we've started. <laughs> On what could be episode 10? Episode. This could this, be episode 10. It'll be our yeah. 10th anniversary, and we have guests. And we talked about what we do for an episode 10. This actually kind of makes sense now. Did we say we got special guests in? No, well, I mean, we said, yeah, like, we'll have to do something for the anniversary. Oh, well, this is it, then, so. Well, we've got two special guests. You. We have uh, Dara Slack from Calvin. (laughs) Say hello, Dara. (laughs) The peak. You have to talk into the mic now. No, that was the Calvin whistle in there just to give you a fucking... (laughs) And That's we have me. we have young Josh McClory, also from Cal- you're from Cavan too. I'm from Cavan, Cavan Town. This is nice now. We've never done this before, yep. where we had someone to ask questions of. We start with you, Dara. Okay, Dara, you're from Cavan. Yes. And what would you consider yourself? Your place in the world is today. I don't know. I suppose. Jeez, that's an awful question for a first fucking question. Uh, everyone, I, I'd love to have had a I don't know a form to fill in before I came. <laughs> and I can. Read off it, maybe. It feels like a doctor's appointment, right? What, what's what's <laughs> what? my role in life? Yeah. What do you do with yourself? I don't know. I suppose I'm a musician. Musician? Um, I am a, a son and a brother. Right. Oh, lovely. And I That's am... Um, what else am I? Very I'm a friend. <laughs> I'm a friend. I'm a good friend, Ray. Uh, I suppose I sleep a lot. Right. Um, <laughs> well, when would you sleep? No, would you sleep during the day or at night? Uh, well, um, mo- mostly in the morning. Oh, yeah. yeah. I never yeah. tended to sleep all the way through the morning. Yeah. I think yeah. you could be a man after being on Kendi. What time did you go to bed at there now? Oh, God, I don't want to be embarrassed myself now. I suppose... Uh, How would I, I embarrass yourself? I've been a bad old habit now of going to bed about five or six in the morning. That's, oh, that's yeah. much the same as yourself. And the same. You the must be mad into the baseball like Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm chronic. Baseballs. I watch. Look, look what's on the table there. I'm mental into baseball, like. Oh, I see, yeah. And so that's why I'd be up till six in the morning watching it. Like, would really? Yeah. You wouldn't be at that now, would you? I'd be different kind of baseballs to be playing with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We old camogie matches, you know, <laughs> from weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he has a back hand like a VHS camogie games <laughs> from the nineties. <90s. laughs> <laughs> oh, this was a lethal one, the Tipperary County final. Wait, you see this one. <laughs> But Mary Walsh scored one six from play. This is lethal. That's not entirely off the. But my father does have an entire video collection at home of old matches. Does he? That he would really? watch. He'd, he'd whip one out. So he would. He'd whip it out and he'd yeah. stick it on and he'd watch it. For, like it'd be a Sunday afternoon. He put on that. Like it could be an all Ireland from seventy eight. Yeah, that's what I love that. Jesus, I remember I was at that match. Well, that I've, sort of stuff. I've watched. Um, there's a documentary called A Year Till Sunday that's about Galway winning the football All Ireland right in 1998. Right. Now, I was at it. I was only eight year old. Mm-hmm. But I've watched that documentary, The Far Side of 50 times, like, Go for sure. I swear to God. It's been I'm not even from Galway. It's been that now in the three... I'm from Roscommon. It's that now in the three ninjas. It's, it's, it's that one of the, the other. three ninjas are my two favourites. Yeah. It's actually the first time I've ever heard about the three ninjas since I was about seven. It, uh, in the under- it, it just died when, oh. I was, when I was eight years old. I was like, never never heard of it, never thought of it ever again. Yeah. And for anyone, podcast the podcast brought it back. For anyone it's coming to this now, the was, was mentioned, yeah. that, uh, videos that we watched to death, and the three ninjas was one that Mark watched. Yeah. So you were also a Three Ninjas fan. I was, uh, oh. but it was only geez, it was only like five or six when I watched it. What age are you, Josh? Really? I am twenty-two. Now, oh yeah, currently. so like I'm twenty-six. So that would make sense. I would have been watching Can it when I was ten. Yeah, yeah, thirty-six. Thirty-six, nine, thirty-four. So there's a real. There's a big age gap. There's 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 two young there fellas is, and two old yeah, fellas sitting in a room. <laughs> generation gap, all right. So the oldest fella here and the youngest fella here are now playing music together all the time. Mm-hmm. This is it, yeah. Josh, you'll have to tell us who you are now. Uh, I'm Josh. I am from Cavan as well. I play music in a band called The Stripes and also play with a few other bands as well. And I'm also a brother and a son. <laughs> uh, and a human. And a uh, human. For, for, firstly, a human. Yeah. That's what we were looking yeah. for. Um, yeah. But yeah, uh, and I'm delighted to be here. Ah, as thanks, well. Josh. Yeah, Sligo's great. I was doing what they call in the media business a bit of research, right? I'm glad one of us did. I looked, <laughs> I, I looked you up on Wikipedia in work yesterday. Jeez. Are you on Wikipedia? He's on Wikipedia. Yeah. Not you as an individual. No, though. not you as an individual. Oh, yeah, you're, on, nice. you're on with the stripes. Okay. And it was weird. I, I just... It's very seldom I know... I know very few people that are featured on Wikipedia. Yeah, yeah I've seen the band one now. It's pretty hilarious. It's, Is it? It's, it's yeah. nice though. Ah, yeah, it's cool enough, but I often... Like, I... It, what's great about Wikipedia is you can just change things. So I... We, we oh, went, can you change it? Well, well, you know, you can change it for a day and then if it's... It has to be approved, like... Yeah, or okay. it used to be the way anyway. Yeah. So, uh, 
we went on it ourselves one day, like all four of us, and just took the piss completely. And so you uh, changed it yeah, for like a day. What did you went, say? Just I can't remember years ago, like just talking shite, and, uh, <laughs> and, then, and then it just went straight back straight the day back. after. But but yeah, uh, it doesn't really mean much. You don't get any more money for having a Wikipedia page. No, but it's it's nice. My my young Emer's uh, sister Mary Cullen, she's a famous runner, and she's on Wikipedia. Is she? And I think she's the first person I ever knew that was on Wikipedia. Really. Yeah. If we kept this going, by we could be on Wikipedia. You could be on Wikipedia. Oh, jeez! Someone know sort that out. I have to. Uh, I have to give a shout out to Emer because uh, Emer actually introduced me to my first ever battered sausage last uh, last oh. week in Sligo. Never had one before. Now, in fairness to me, I should I should have thought twice about leaving my my lovely girlfriend. <laughs> but two da- dandy young men there. I says to her in McGarrigal says I'm going home now because I work in the morning. She says it's fine. I like it. I'm going to stay out. And she stayed out with you and Terry. Yeah, Emer was the bad influence now. She kept us out. Uh, we went to, um, what's the kind of nightclub? The Garibog. Yeah, cheers. Great spot. Yeah, it was, yeah, that, that's definitely a word now. Uh, it was <laughs> it was an experience. Um, <laughs> but then she brought you for battered sausages. Yeah, cheers. And I tell you, she and wanded a battered sausage. She loved no, battered sausage. Oh, 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 bit of curry sauce. Uh, bit of curry sauce, just, no. Oh, she lethal now. She didn't into it. She crawled into the bed beside <laughs> me after that and she said, I got the two boys a battered sausage. Uh, oh. <laughs> she ate them. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful experience though, Jizz. And lovely. you know what? One isn't enough. No, well, but, mm, and two's not enough. I, or two's, did you two's, two's too many. You didn't sorry. dip it in the curry sauce. I did. did you? No, I went there. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> the devil's soup. Yeah. It's unbelievable. I'll have to give a shout out to Roberto. They're the finest takeaway in town. Yeah, yeah well, they do the Roberto. finest battered sausage. We said it before, lads. Yeah, she's about a foot long. She's big. A lot of men look at it. This <laughs> <laughs> is hey, feel insignificant. That's nice. I but, can't. I can't say it more. No, no, can't. My no. mammy rang me and told me stop talking about me, Mickey, at the podcast. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, no, but just, that's ju- the segment now. And, as an aside, though, <laughs> would you find the battered sausage would be smaller? Just, just. No, like. Would you be around the same size? Ah, uh, look, it's half. <laughs> I won't tell you which is half of which, but I'll let you decide. Half the size. One if, of them is half the size of the other. other. And we won't. Um, answers on the postcard, please. <laughs> PO Box 555. <laughs> Oh, well, come here anyway. No, yeah, we got in. We got right into the realm of shy talk, yeah. which is probably where this should have went. <laughs> will, will, will we? Will we start with the beers? We will. Yeah, we, we will. better. We yeah, better. So we what, two what options. Have, so what have you brought? Right. Well, you throw mine out here first. Right, okay. Right. I bought six cans of Harp Lager. Ah, oh, <laughs> beautiful Harp. Oh, harp. that's lovely. And it's cold Harp. Oh, oh. and I just thought it was quintessentially Irish for a yeah. Saturday. Lovely. Yeah. Have an old can of Harp, oh Lord above. <laughs> yeah. Can I break it up? No, wait. Hold on now. I was I was usurped. You also brought beers, young Josh. Well, we As did. a present. We well we, we did. Because we've been following the show. Which one you picked them? Oh, well, we got to go in together to pick them. We were looking for a specific a, beer. As a little present. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's yes. marvellous. Look at that. We, we, we went looking for a specific beer, actually, by uh, by Breffney o- O'Cleary. Is O'Cleary, it? yeah, yeah. It's Jesus. a Calvin beer uh, we Calvin were trying beer. to get. So we couldn't get any Calvin beer, so we got Calvin cider instead. Oh, we'll have to drink the oh, Calvin oh, cider. Oh, we wanted to get something from Calvin. Right. Ray, pull away the harp. So here we have uh, four uh, different bottles. It's uh, there's, there's kind of a there's kind of a sort of a, a sort of a cheap... Uh, Telly Tubby's vibe going off the caps of these <laughs> bottles here. Uh, there's a different one. Uh, there's four different ones here now. Uh, they're Scots, is what they're called. And they're, they're made in Cabin. Scots Irish Scots. Cider. A force of nature, it says above us. Force of nature. And we a can force shuffle them around and see. But we wanted to get something from Cabin. Yeah. Uh, there's loads of different ones. Yeah. yeah each one is. Uh, I have a dry cider. Yeah. <laughs> have you an up and cider? Suchi, I, I'm. <laughs> Up, up in no, is it not Cummins? No, <laughs> Cummins. Uh, <laughs> that has to be taken out. No, it doesn't. Uh, just shut up. Super uh, medium cider. So on, what, what did you get? S- oh, summer medium. Sorry, super summer medium. I have the medium dry cider, lads. What do you have, Dara? I have the elderflower cider. That suits you. Oh, oh nice. elderflower. You'll be an elderflower. Oh, we we also flower brought jelly tots. Oh, they brought jelly tots. Jelly tots well. for the boys. Yeah. Yeah. You're the yeah. finest yeah. guest. Huh? Right, should we go with what we've been handed? Yeah, yes, that's so we break it open. You're familiar how we open these. Oh, you have to try and... Oh, you're right. off the table. Oh, look at that. That's how yep. you busted your hand. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Cover that with the mouth. Yep. Oh, yep. You're, you're dribbling, Ray. You're Ray, dribbling. it's your first time it happens to everyone, Ray. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> it happens to everyone. I'm so sorry. Oh, jeez. I'm Josh, you're destroying do a your like. carpet. Ash, look, I'll get cleaned up, boy. I have a fortune of money. Don't worry about that. I have a cleaner come in and do that. <laughs> Cheers, lads. Cheers, lads. Fair play to us all. Cheers. It's great to be here. Yep. Jesus, that's a different taste experience. It's a cabin cider, boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, 
Yeah, Scott Sider. It's got me out of many a horror now. Uh, it was Sunday morning. Yeah, it would be. Uh, no, Lads, it's a party now. I'm cracking over with the jelly tots. <laughs> now we're sucking uh, diesel, boys. Yeah. Uh, myself and uh, Dara were driving here and uh, we pulled in at uh, Petra Station just uh, coming just past Bill Turbot. Dara was filling up the Petra. He went in to pay, came back out and he went, Jesus, there's a lovely looking girl in there. Lovely looking blonde girl. And so I naturally went, Jesus, I'm hungry. I need a bag of jelly tots. <laughs> you did, yeah. <laughs> So, I bet to go in. I bet to go in. So I did And uh, sure, we had the crack. Uh, I was chatting away, and there was no small bags of jelly tots. So I said, Look, I'll have to get a big bag of jelly tots. Mm, sure, ordered anyway. You tried to keep the conversation going yeah. about jelly tots for a few <laughs> minutes now. It just didn't happen. But uh, we smiled and we left and never got her name, and we never see her again. So, oh, I know, it's tragic. Yeah. I, I, I had a lovely moment with her. Um, you know the way counters go up? Yeah. All I could see was her eyes and her hair. <laughs> So just amazing, just love a little moment. Do you think you could pick her out now if you saw her full face? <laughs> do you know? If if the cops took me in and I did, <laughs> finger, finger. But somebody. did you? Did she look at you? You look at her type thing. Yeah, it was oh. it was nice. It was and nice, at that nice, point, nice you nice. said, "I may go out and tell Josh." <laughs> yeah. Well, well at did. that point, I said, I'll, I'll, "Is there a toilet near here?" <laughs> hey, man, I love the fact that Josh was trying to show off his physical prowess by saying, "I'll take the big bag of jelly tots. Don't be worried about that at all." <laughs> Huh? <laughs> don't need no small I can bag. take them But there's a savage beauty In uh, Going Like Having these Like little encounters I was just thinking about it Like A little encounter with someone hmm. And you're never gonna know their name And you never yeah. see them yeah. again yeah. And it's just a lovely little moment Like mm. yeah. And it happens all the time When you're, when you're sort of Travelling and you're away Like in on the on the tube or on the bus or something like that And you just have a wee Five minute conversation with someone And you never see them again Yeah Did they have a tube in thing. Cavan? Huh? Did they have a tube in Cavan? A tube <laughs> 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 tube of jelly tubes. Yeah. <laughs> Man, Gavin down to the whole tube system. But do you, do you think? Do you think she's saying the same thing though as well? No, she's, she's probably going. Who's that weirdo that got the big <laughs> bag of jelly tots? <laughs> I uh, I had a moment last week in in Killarney, what? where uh, I kicked over a pint of water on my own stage, right? And the place was destroyed, and the leads were destroyed, and it was creeping over onto pedals, mm-hmm. and I was freaking out a little bit, and I was trying to get a bouncer's attention to try and get a towel. And when I looked back down again, one of the punters had already got a towel and he was scrubbing vigorously, cleaning up the stage for us. Yes. I thought it was unbelievable. That's the and then he was error. gone. He was gone before I got the chance to say, hey, fair play to you, man. That's, mm. that's a savage deed. Like, Where were you playing? We were playing the Grand in Killarney. Did you ever do that, no? No. Yes, uh, it's once, a, yes. Yeah, it's a fine spot now. Yeah. In fairness, a big shout out to them down below. I'm I, every I like Killarney. Do you do, did any of you do much in Killarney? I did, uh, played the... Uh, INEC, I bet you. Yeah, yeah. played down there. Oh, yeah, yeah. sound, yeah, no. Wait. Yeah, we are dealing with the big dicks now, we're, we're in the house with the big dicks. <laughs> I was actually watching, right, I was watching videos of um, The Stripes. Right. And you just blogged a tour that you did, you done, didn't you? Yeah, uh, our bass player, Pete, uh, he has a wee GoPro. Yeah. So he does film a good bit of the There's show. like 61 episodes of it on, yeah, it's ridiculous. on your thing. Uh, it's like one every day kind of thing. And how long goes that? Uh, it's over the mm. last, uh, it's only over the last couple of months, so maybe over the last, maybe six months. 61 episodes? Yeah. No, like they do every venue, like you've done some tour now. Yeah. It no, was, it was mental. Yeah, it was mental now, it was full on. I saw one of them. At Lone. Yeah. With a time more. Yeah. <laughs> I've done a savage tour as well, lads. I do Sligo. <laughs> Killarney. I'd be in Dublin the odd time up in the big spot, <laughs> getting the Dublin compliments. But I saw an episode of it, or a, a little snippet of it, where, did your drummer get sick in the middle of a gig? Yeah, he did. Uh, our drummer has, uh, well, I think he's over now, uh, gl- glandular fever. He had oh, yeah. glandular fever in America. They used to tell us that you get that from shifted when we were kids. Yeah, for sure. Don't be, don't be shifted, yeah. you get the glandular, you get fever. The glandular fever. Is that true? Uh, I don't know. Were I you doing know. an awful pile of shifting? I used to be shifted vigorously. I wasn't the fell in town, though, that was safe. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's that's terrible. Terrible. like if they were telling you to stop shifting, you must have been doing a fair oh, state man. of it. Oh, I was going around with a mouth like Andy's flip flop. <laughs> it was dry as a board. No wonder I got it. They'd never, they'd never have said that in my house now to put me off shifting now. What? There wouldn't be a whole lot of. Yeah, like they'd have no reason now to try and put me off shifting because I wasn't getting a whole lot of it at all. <laughs> I was, I was, it was struggling, so I was. Oh, I was shifting left, right, and centre, honest to God. Oh, I was lethal for shifting. A right, Lothario. <laughs> but anyway, 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 anyway. So you, you got some other fellow up onto the... So he got sick in the middle of the gig. Yeah, so he, we were in uh, Vancouver, and um, he wasn't feeling well at all. And what actually happened was he went to the doctor a couple of days before, and uh, we played in Toronto a few days before that, and he, yeah, he was bollocks, and went to the doctor, and the doctor just completely over-prescribed him. And just completely ruined the system. USA. Yeah. USA. Just class. Methadone. They gave him methadone yeah. straight away. Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
yeah, lads. So Ev was in Vancouver on the brown, and <laughs> no, he was down, and he was, uh, yeah. So he he could in the middle of the gig, he was like, lads, I have to leave. I'm gonna get sick. I'm just in bits here. So he just had to go off stage, and there was a whole crowd there, and we were going, what are we gonna do? So you had no drummer. No, no drum at all. And then so Ross, our singer, had a wee shite at the drums for a while. For like a song or two, and we were really? like, "Just don't know if this is going to work now. This is mm. this isn't going to work." He can well. play. I've seen him play. He can play. Yeah, yeah but yeah, then but it was like uh, we weren't, we weren't sure how we were, how we were going to. How get many on. people are at the gig? Um, <laughs> it looked fairly loaded, by about yeah, but uh, probably about. 150, 200 people. That's we not, yeah, okay, that's bad. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sorry, I thought you were going to say something like six or eight thousand there. 75,000 oh, yeah, people. Not, they're they're playing stadiums. Uh, I'm not a stripes, I'm not in Coldplay. It's grand. Like. <laughs> 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 it's grand, lads. Like. Uh, uh, but yeah, so then there's a fella from Dublin who just stuck his head around the corner and was like, I play the drums. And so we just said, yeah, come on up. And he was great. He's glandular fever free and he's happy <laughs> out. So. Yeah, no, he's. Uh, it, was, it was a scary old gig now. But then what was great was most of the crowd after the gig were like, we're kind of glad we got to see half of that gig, half of the normal Stripes yeah. gig, and then half of yeah. this mad thing that we're ne- no one's ever going to see. Yeah. Well, oh. I heard, uh, is it Ross that you're lead singer? Yes. He said something in the video like, uh, does anyone here feel hard done by? And everyone was going, no fucking way. Like, I'm not going to say to his face, though, are they? No, I'm going to say, yeah. I paid 55 pounds for this ticket, lads. This is a fucking waste of time. I had a similar situation to you. You did in your hole. I did. Where were you at <laughs> <laughs> so I was about 152 other people as well, actually, come to think of it. Uh, we were doing a gig in Fiddler's Creek there in Sligo. Yes. I was sick myself that night, oh, yeah. and I was the one that actually had the problem. You had to go off? I, oh, I had to go off, yeah. Well, I kind of shit myself. Uh, oh, <laughs> this is fucking true. Are you telling this whole story? No, but I, I, was, I was, wasn't uh, feeling well from the start, and, and, I, and I went for a fart, and I didn't expect uh. it to go... <laughs> I didn't expect it to go all the way. Oh no! And it went a little bit of the way, and I kind of knew <laughs> by the way I was sitting uh, that something more uh, than a fart has happened. Mm. Right. And uh, and I called Sean O'Reilly, who plays with us. He's a great man for the drum solo. He's a great man. So I immediately right. turned and went, Sean, drum solo. And that, you don't have to ask him twice. Play uh, drum solo. No, no, Any no, time no. of the day. How long? Says he. How long do you want it? <laughs> I said, give me at least five minutes. So I went in and took just took, took the shorts off and and back at it. And that's the hero I am. Nice. I didn't need to get some lad from Dublin <laughs> to bless me. Uh, you know, you yeah. to do drums oh, on but I do think that shit happens. I mean, I pardon the technically that shit happens. <laughs> it did actually happen. Literally, but, uh, a scary experience. Yeah, yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ! Sean O'Reilly's some man for the drums now. Sean O'Reilly mm. needs like you need one of them Batman lights. We ever yeah. stop. Get in the room. Yeah. Sean O'Reilly's Sean O'Reilly's Don't jawline. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> but after that, the way he was looking at me, some nights I kind of thought he actually wanted me to shit myself more yeah. at gigs because he wasn't getting nearly as many <laughs> drum solos as he the drum solo. He'd be, he'd be turning towards you during the gig. Anyone need to shit themselves last night? <laughs> Anyone? Everyone okay? Have no, you, have Sean. You've had him on this thing. Have you? No, no, we haven't. We haven't gone there. We've we've mentioned him in almost every episode. Yeah, but yes. have, have you seen Sean when he's uh, like? I hope most people listen to this know Sean. But have you seen him when he's put under the cash? Like when you actually put him out front to do something? Yeah, he gets nervous as yeah, shite. Yeah, like yeah, he yeah, would yeah. shit himself on this forum. Like he he genuinely That'd make would. two of us then. At yeah, least. if he, if you could get him to relax though. <laughs> yeah, he, he'd, he'd be the funniest. Yeah, like yeah. Some of the stories he's come out with. Yeah. Oh. Down to the years. If we could, if we could sedate him. We could give him ah, something. Ah, ah, ah. A heavily drugged Sean. A bit O'Reilly. like the young fellas that come out of the caves out in Thailand. If we could put him under a little bit and try and make him a little less, you know, frightened about yeah. coming in from the microphone. Yeah. Jesus. How do we do it? What? How do we do it? We'd have to approach him from with, with a from, rope. Come out from the side or yeah. something. We'd have to approach him with some kind of rope or something. Do you get nervous? You don't get nervous. Dara, you wouldn't be a nervous oh, man yeah, talking to a crowd. I'm a very nervous person, yeah. But do you get nervous at gigs, Dee? Yes. Dee, yeah. Yes. Go ahead. What trends? What's going on in my mind? Because every time I see you on the stage, you look like the most laid back whore. No, I'm a very nervous person. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. And what gets you through the nerves? Yeah. Guinness. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Um, sometimes I turn to the music. I really yeah. try and focus on the music. Mm. Uh, different things can set you off. The crowd can be. Uh, it's funny. Like we were talking about it with Josh last night. We were playing last night, and we did two gigs yesterday. We played in a restaurant, and then we went straight to a. Uh, uh, pub full of filthy animals. <laughs> so it was. It was like Jeez, they were filthy. It was, <laughs> we won't mention anything. But yeah. we, we, we went from sublime to the ridiculous. But like it's um, pubs in Cavan are they're they're up and down. And sometimes you could be playing to absolutely nobody. And then some, sometimes you could be playing to a packed pub. 
but they can be too much. They can be really in your face. Yeah. And they can be just, yeah. 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 It's so good. Oh, it's so good. I want you to look at me because it's yeah. so good. Yeah. It's, yeah. You're probably better off with no one at these stages. Mm. So it's like, it's hard to know what you want. Yeah. So you, 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 you have to take, you have to take it. You know, you have yeah. to take whatever you get. But sometimes when you turn around and you just face the band and you play it to the band and like, like the invisible barrier around the band. Yeah. That comes up in your mind. Yeah, yeah. Try and zone in on that. Yeah. So that works with all kinds of nerves. So it's just closing the eyes and just trying to come into the music and breathing, breathing a lot. Yeah. I'd practice breathing a lot of music. Go yeah. away. Big time. Especially just, just generally breathing. Just when you're, <laughs> <laughs> you're staying alive. In, yeah. <laughs> in <laughs> slack is lethal to staying alive. That he won't die the gig. <laughs> he never die the gig. That film, man. He breathed and he breathed and he breathed. Just breathing, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's yeah. mad actually that uh, that uh, you can zone yourself away from a crowd because I fucking love to do that most nights. Like, <laughs> do you find you, you don't, but you're not nervous at gigs. No, I don't get nervous at gigs. I just want to get away from headers. Like, is that? Oh, yeah, the headers oh, yeah. would be. Yeah, Jeez, we, I'm telling you, lads, and uh, look, I love it, but we did Ladies' Day down the Grand and Canary last Thursday, for Ladies' Day for the races. I don't want to do it ever again. And what I'm was like, so bad about it? Look, I don't want to go calling people out, like, but the. <laughs> That's always the preface that I'm gonna call yeah, people gonna call out. Look, people uh, are gonna get called out. Look, right I now. say that, like I said, we could edit out whatever it doesn't. There was a bunch of women there for Ladies' Day, and you'd swear that they might as well come up to me and say, "Did you know actually that the reason Ladies' Day is on is because I, I go out to it like so? This is actually my night. This right. is my night now here. Like. Is it in relation to what songs they wanted to hear? Our lead singer Mark Riley, his uh, he had to go. One of his leads broke. He had to run out and get another lead. And she was trying. To, this girl was trying to talk to him at the same time, and she clapped her hand. Hey. And he said, give me two minutes. And she said, looked at me as he ran off the stage to get a lead. And she was like, no, 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 no. Hey, hey. I said, will you give him a minute? Like, he said he was going to be a minute. And she completely ignored me. It's Catherine's birthday. Uh, yes. well, it's it was, Catherine's birthday. It was Catherine's birthday, in fairness, like. In fairness, it was Catherine. Yeah. And I, time was running out, like, the day was about to end. Don't he have the 12, like? <laughs> it's Catherine's <laughs> birthday. <laughs> birthday in half an hour. <laughs> Jesus, like. She ends up getting thrown out for a finish, that girl. Really? Right yeah, well. because Go she fucked the bouncer out of Catherine, <laughs> Catherine, if you're listening, happy birthday. Happy, happy your, birthday, uh, Catherine. And your friend's present. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> My head didn't go open. down well. You've done a lot of gigs in Africa. I've seen videos of it. Some of them... Uh, there's one particular video. There's right? one video, Dara. Yeah. Oh it's my! Like one of your greatest hits. There's an unbelievable video, and if we can get a link for the Facebook and mm. Instagram and stuff, we have to get it, right? Because yeah. I can't find it on YouTube. I don't know what it's called. Sean knows. I will find it. We'll do find you know it. what this is? No. You do. I know. probably do when you remind me. Yeah, there's yeah. a video of ye having lunch mm-hmm. in a like an oh, African yeah. hotel. African hotel. Oh, and yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> there's a jazz band <laughs> playing. An unbelievable jazz band. Really playing. good jazz lads playing. In like a five star hotel. But it was one of those probably Irish moments where. Go up and do a song, Dara, will you? Yeah. Or like like what happens here. Oh, meet me mother, she sings. Could you yeah. let her up for a She's going to do Caledonia. She's going to yeah. do Caledonia. So you obviously got either invited up by them or someone must have said, or you must have gone up yourself. Yeah, well, like, well, well, well uh, Darcy had a saxophone there. Um, right. So I said to the lads, so do you know when you turn up, when a musician turns up to a gig with his own instrument, looks yeah. good. Yeah. You know, this guy now, can, can we, play. Yeah. Can we just so, make it quite clear to everybody at home, you wouldn't be a saxophone player per se. I can't play the saxophone. <laughs> right, so... <laughs> You heard this, Josh. I've never seen this video. Oh, now. you got to see it. I've never seen this video. Oh, I'm to see this video oh. now. <laughs> anyway, explain it to her. So, so you don't it. play saxophone, but you took Darcy's sax. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then you made yourself known to the band. I did. I told the lads I was there and I was willing to play a couple of solos if you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, this comes back to what I said about you. And you know, despite the fact that you may call yourself a nervous person, oh, yeah. I don't think there are many people in this country. <laughs> When in Africa, if they were lucky to be in Africa, with a jazz band, with a, a jazz band playing in a, in, a, in a hotel area, and you take your friend's saxophone and you walk up pretending to be a saxophonist, yeah. and you did that, and up you got, and the video yeah. will show. <laughs> the yeah. video you were not a sax you enjoy this now, Josh. Well, they're playing jazz, but they're playing. Their, they, they've very much got their own unique style of jazz. Like African jazz is totally, it's a bag of its own, right? Yeah. And uh, because media isn't as um, easily accessible over there, they wouldn't know what foreign American jazz sounds like. Right. So I got up and I started making all this noise with the You didn't do anything for a solid four minutes. Yeah. Oh, you, good stood there. Good you stood there. Good and long. You stood there clicking your fingers. And they kept giving me the It was coming up. It was coming up. My time was coming up. When you're ready there now and you're going to go, no, I'm enjoying this. Oh, it's good. <laughs> good. And they're going to go, let's go. You're going to play No, then, they, then you nod though and say, yeah, I'll come in now. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you, and I, it's weird. 
You reckon they might have thought well, maybe this is jazz? Like, oh over. for sure, they thought it was jazz. Yeah. Oh, oh for sure, that's that's the other side of it too. And they were all coming to me and shaking my hands afterwards. Uh, even the staff and everything. <laughs> You see, it's just the, the, this whole free jazz thing, uh, the whole Coltrane thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, um, if you don't, if you haven't been schooled in it or if you haven't really heard it, or uh, when you see something that resembles it, you think that must be it. Mm. Do you know? Um, and that's what happened. I was delighted someone mm. had the, the, you know, the presence of mind to take out some form of the camera. Mm. Yeah. And oh, record yeah, yeah. that moment. <laughs> because... <laughs> Well, you see, there was a thing going on anyway uh, where um, I was taking out Darcy's saxophone at different various occasions. Did you take it off in the airplane as well? I did indeed, yes. <laughs> in the middle of the night did, on the airplane? Did, did indeed, in the middle of the night, yeah. And I went up to first class and started playing it up there. Yeah. Yes. He blew his trumpet in my face. <laughs> Yes. So there was complaints. There was complaints. They didn't appreciate the free jazz. They didn't appreciate it then, no. And I was very lucky. Uh, I was saying to Laura there yesterday as well. I was very lucky I was flying into uh, Lusaka as well because if if I had have done anything, I don't know, anything bold on a plane flying into London. Yeah. Uh, you dressed as an Arab. Yes. And you went to, uh, was it a horse show? Yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> you you attended a horse show with, with one of the lads who you called your translator. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Went up to a whisper in his ear every now and What horse show was it? It was Balance Low. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you went to the Balance Low horse show. And you were obviously putting yourself across as, uh, I suppose, a, a dealer from looking Abu Dhabi looking, or looking to Dubai. Buy stuff, yeah. from, from there to buy stuff yeah. from Dubai. Yeah, the crack was good. Got a load of class pictures. <laughs> Yeah, really good pictures. Very funny. So you walked around Banner's yeah, Horse Fair saying, look, I'm buying here now like I have big money yeah. from Abu Dhabi yeah. or whatever. Yeah. With a translator. I don't know now. We might have to cut this next bit out, but there's one more now I'm going to throw at you. You participated in um, in, a, in a, an orange order parade? Absolutely. There's, 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 no, yeah, I, I, like, there's absolutely no problem in leaving this in. Right, right, okay. You can leave this stuff in, absolutely yeah. no problem. Oh, yeah. Like the, the, thing, the thing about Northern Ireland is the, the best sense of humour going about this whole, this yeah. whole thing. The, uh, I was up there a while ago there. They are serious crack up there. Right. They love taking the mick out of the whole situation. Yeah, yeah I went to a couple of orange order uh, parades and dressed up as an orangeman and uh, marched with them. A p- playing what? Eh, no, just just, just, had, just I had some I had some cool clothes and did, I just did, well, I like to wear things. Did you have the sash? I did. Yeah, I had a, a, two different <laughs> sashes. Was it good crack? Class crack. The best crack was in the pub afterwards. Uh, when they to... realised you weren't an orange uh, man. Yeah, that, absolutely no problem <laughs> with it. They're serious go, crack. So you eventually told them, look, I was only taking the piss. Yeah, lads. yeah. Well, in the end, I, I played along with it for a while, and. Um, uh, we went to the pub afterwards and I got to try the Lambeg drum and I got to play the the, the flutes they have and everything. Jesus uh, Christ. The, 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 the thing about these Orange Order things is that they seem so bad on the telly. Uh, and they obviously, there's elements of it that are really bad, but yeah. an awful lot of it's a big family day out. You know? yeah. like, and it's real communal and it's a, it's a cultural thing. It belongs yeah. to a, a culture in Northern Ireland. And it should. Uh, uh, like, and it's totally cool. Like, yeah. It's totally cool. It's just a shame that, that it... it it well, infringes the, bad elements, yeah. Infr- yeah. Yeah, the, the parts around the edges but there's an awful lot of good to it like a, mm. lot, a lot of family affairs grannies kids big day out having a, uh, have a pint and eat a burger that's it yeah. it's like, like heritage day in Bal now everybody's out having the crack <laughs> the salmon festival yeah there's a fringe in that too well. <laughs> <laughs> the, a delinquent yeah. <laughs> young fellas the end of the night look anywhere stuff. you go there's going to be a fringe of delinquents like the cause of it are you open in a second I can't of really, course you can Ray of course you can Ray come on Ray let's, let's you bang out more oh, drink. Ray, I can't I have to drive to a Jesus wedding yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we've got your stories now Dad. Mm. we've got a few of your stories mm. some of the best stories a few of these stories I guess I do. Mr. Yeah, McClory. I probably do. Stories from because McClory, a new section here on the podcast. Stories of McClory. McClory stories. McClory stories. <laughs> but so look. What's ye, the story with Josh McClory? What like, would you like to know? Josh, he went massive when you were crazy young, like. Yeah. Uh, when prob- did you blow? I, I was looking on, on Apple Music there and it was 2013 was when your first album came out, was it? Yeah. It was at, uh, yeah. So we've been going about. You were 17, were you? Yeah, I was 17 at that point. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you yeah, started in the band in sixth class, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, you were six, a Letterman when you were in sixth class. Uh, uh, Letterman, it was yeah. like se- it's second class actually. Second <laughs> class, yeah, yeah. 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 Letterman yeah. the day before the communion. Great yeah, to get the yeah, career yeah. out of the way before you ever yeah. get the leavings or at all. I'll tell you, <laughs> did Letterman got six hundred quid for the li- for the communion? <laughs> That's but, great. Uh, I don't. Know, we start we, we started gigging probably in two thousand ten, so I would have been four, fourteen or something like that. Yeah, uh, yeah, fourteen, fifteen, and. Um, 
yeah, it was flat out ever since then. Uh, but yeah, it's 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 just mad. It's hard to condense seven years into one sentence right yeah, now. It's mad, yeah, it's mad. Yeah, speaking. Yeah, we're yeah. saying, come on, tell us yeah. all about us. <laughs> everything. That tell happened. me everything. <laughs> tell me everything. I have a question. Now. You, might, you might kill me for asking. Well, it's, it's, it's pure out of ignorance. On the Wikipedia page, yes, there was a lad involved at the start. Yes, and then he left. Yes, and I don't know why. And I just want to ask you. Yes. Did you fall out? And if you did, go and tell us the story. <laughs> Whose girlfriend, girlfriend did he shift? <laughs> Whose girlfriend did he shift? That's what we need to know. He gave his own girlfriend, didn't he? The healer still has me first ever bass. Um, <laughs> Does he? I don't know. Uh, no, we, 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 we had, we'd only done a couple of gigs. We, we did the... The first thing we ever did was the Late Late Toy Show. Right. Yeah. Uh, Great scene or something other than Billy Barry on the friggin' Late Late Toy Show. Yeah, so then we'd, we'd, done, a, we'd done a wee bit and then... Yeah, he just wasn't really that interested. It wasn't really going anywhere at the time because we'd sort of... We'd a few bits up on Facebook and, and the like and... Um, there was a couple of like sort of, you know, we'd, we'd sort of dressed all kind of like mods and stuff like that when we were younger. So there was a couple of mod nights that they, they'd brought us down to do in Dublin. Were you into the mod stuff? Yeah, big time. And still would be. I wouldn't, I just, I wouldn't want to have two haircuts now yeah. anymore. Same uh, way Dara was into the orange order and <laughs> dressing yeah, as Adam. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you move on, you learn your lesson. I don't know. I don't, like, I, I'd be well into it all, but like we, we were mad into it when we were, when we were younger. And, um, but yeah, like like you're saying, we had been kind of farting around Calvin, and so we were, we were in school. Like, but we decided that we wanted to record a couple of tracks just mm. for the crack. So Niall, our manager, who's a drummer's dad, uh, his friend, uh, big shout out to Tony Smith in Bell Turbot. Oh, uh, bye, Tony. Uh, he yeah. has he just had Cubase and and just a little sort of like side room in his house where he'd recorded stuff. So we went and recorded a wee EP there, and we have a friend called Finn Keenan who's a he's become a, quite a big video director now um, he's done loads of stuff uh, but he was uh, sort of a friend from, from when we were younger and so we did a video for one of the tracks and threw it up on YouTube and then it just got all this traction and, and got a load of attention and so then uh, RTE got in touch about doing the, the Late Late Show Great. Uh, and then the couple of record label heads and all that sort of started getting involved and that's when it kind of started yeah. going sort of like you know we m- went into madness at that point but beforehand yeah it was that that wee period was weird because we were just again like we were just in, in Cavan just, it was just, normality yeah we were just doing it for the crack like just to just to actually like exercise that and just like try and do an EP and you know because we just read about bands all the time and be like oh we should try and record some things yeah, yeah. and make a video Young and all blue, that stuff yeah. Young Gifted and Blue yeah um, was what it was called uh, I did the artwork Oh, the, the first and only artwork I've ever done. Um, but yeah, so then it's just been kind of mad ever since. Uh, it's been a bit of a whirlwind, but now we're here. And now we're in Sligo. It's and now, now you you've have, met us. Yeah. Now you've met it, lad. Yeah. You're on the Kendia yeah. Rainbow podcast. Yeah. You've met it. Boy, this Come is here, if a couple close. wanted to book you for a wedding, where would they go to see you, dude? <laughs> A couple of the books for a wedding now, just give us a shout. Uh, <laughs> have you yeah. done weddings? There's a few bob in it. Have uh, you done weddings? Uh, no, we don't. You did a wedding. We did one you or did two friends' wedding. weddings, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you did, you did, uh, did you do some of the, some of the squeeze guys? Oh, we did, yeah. So, so uh, Chris Difford, the, the guitar player in Squeeze, he wrote the lyrics in Squeeze, this uh, sort of 70s band from the UK. Um, we played his wedding because uh, uh, he kind of looked after us for a while. He was a bit of a mentor for a while. And, mm, Jesus. Uh, yeah, it was gas. It was, it was hilarious. <laughs> Who was, who was at that one? Uh, I think Jules was there. It was years ago. Jules was there. Glenn was hey, there hey, as hey. well. Jules. Hey, <laughs> do you just call him Jules? <laughs> Jules Riley. There's no other Jules. <laughs> no, 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 no. Name another Jules you know. <laughs> name another Jules you know. Now. I don't care. You no, don't no, know no. Name another Jules. Name another Jules. Like <laughs> no, I don't know any other Jules. Be fair enough if you were like if you were like ah uh, yeah no Paul was there. Jules, yeah. Yeah. you know what I mean? Then yeah. you'd be a bother. Jules Finnerty. There's no other Jules. Was a Jules Finnerty in school with me from McGowan. Right, yeah. that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, so yeah. it was Jules. Was yeah, it? should name any other Jules, Ray. That's the only Jules we all know. <laughs> it, it was a great few years, I'd say. Yeah, ah, Jesus, it's been great crack, and uh, it's kind of, it's one of those weird things where, like, at the time. Like, it is brilliant, but you don't take it in. And then no. you, you come home and you're sort of talking to your family and stuff. And they're like, what did you do last week? And then you're sort of reading off this shit and you're going, just did I actually do all that? Like, yeah. just, that, that must have been deadly crack for that lad who did it, you know? Yeah. Well, even, like, even just looking back at, at that the little blog thing that I said you were doing, like, it's mad to see all the different places you've literally been the last mm, six yeah. months, like. Yeah, mm. and I can't remember one of them. Not yeah, at all. That's the I can't funny. remember a thing. Like, yeah, it's mad. Like, I mean, if I really 
I suppose if I watched the, the, the episodes, I probably would remember. Yeah, them. Uh, I watched them five. I rewatched them. them all. I like, think amnesia kicks in no matter what you're at. Yeah, yeah. yeah you just like, forget, if you ask like, me where I was three months ago, I lived difficulty telling you. I couldn't tell you where I was fucking nice. Yeah, exactly. It gets that way. It's a weird like, thing, like, but and 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 you'd sort of and people assume that you're going to remember all this because it's like to them they're like, oh, your life must be way more interesting than mine. And yeah. Like, well, in ways it is, but in ways it isn't because like yeah. in ways I'm sitting in a van for five hours. Yeah. And, and yeah. you yeah. know yourself from yeah, gigging yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. You're sitting in a car, like. It's great. You're in. You're in fucking Tokyo, but you're in a car in Tokyo. Yeah. So you might as well yeah. be in a car. I, f- I found we went to silly holiday myself and herself. Well, I call it the silly holiday because we went away for three months. So it's, it's silly for starters because it's not long enough to say I'm gone traveling for a year, but it's still a bit longer than your average holiday. Yeah. But two months into it, no more than probably what you'll identify with. I found myself landing in airports, going great, another airport. Where it started off going, oh my god, I'm in Brazil. I'm sitting there in Rio de Janeiro, Class. and I'm having a great time. Besides the fact that it was really sweaty, um, <laughs> <laughs> really warm and just sticky. But after a while, we went through down to Argentina and went through all these fantastic places yeah. and we got to Chile. So I'm in Santiago in Chile yep. and you arrive in Santiago and you're going, ah, it's grand. We have to get somewhere to stay. Yep. And all of a sudden I realised I'm away too long. Yeah. I've lost... The interest in being away, it's the, the, the goodness has gone out of it. I need to go home now and do a solid two years of, of just routine. The sort of childlike sort of wonder with it all yeah. goes away for a while. And like, and I found that coming home from, so we finished up in April now and, and we did nothing for, I did nothing for about a month. So I didn't travel at all. I stayed in Cavan and I had a great time in Cavan. It was brilliant. Yeah. But I got offered to go to Louisiana for a week yeah. to do a sort of a songwriting camp. And it's the first time in a long time where I've landed in an airport and been like, Jesus, lads, I'm in, I'm in Louisiana. Like, yeah, I can't that's wait. Class. The because it, you, cause, like, it was like a month away from it, and it wasn't connected to working or anything. It was just a bit of crack. Like, yeah. And to have that again, like, I haven't had that in years, like, because yeah. I'm constantly on the road. Because like. it wears off. Yeah, completely or, does. You get as used Mark to it. would say, it wears, wears off. Wears off. <laughs> There's a lot of unnecessary hitches in this podcast. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely adore it, lads. But I that's, adore it. Th- that's always that, like, we asked, <laughs> Derek, the we asked Derek to say where as well. And he said, where? I would wear that. I think it's a risk common thing. Though. It is a risk common thing. Putting be. a H in where. What's like in the pipeline now then? You've just done six months on the road. Yes, have a, so we're a cup taking a, to have a... Yeah, I have just had a few cups of tea since it's been It's been great. Um, I actually got back into tea. I know it's totally unrelated to what you've just, just asked. Perfectly there's never, related. There's never... Because we say that we drink tea in, this, in the box room. We never we do. We don't drink tea. I'm going to have to change that. Yeah, Lads, definitely. I tell you, being away, is a, it's, it's a balls for drinking tea because tea's just tea's not shit. the same. That's yeah. right. Especially in America. Did you find though that no matter where you go in the world, there'll always be a Twix somewhere in the shop. I find that Twixes are the international bar of chocolate. Ah, uh, they are in their hole. They are. I was hiking up to Machu Picchu, right? <laughs> <laughs> Matthew. I, was, I was on the city holiday, as I discussed, and I was hiking up to Macu Baku, as one of the lads is called it, Machu Picchu. <laughs> Machu Picchu, he's a fella from home. <laughs> it was yeah. four day on this trek, and you're out in the middle of nowhere, and you're, there's nothing for miles, and you come round the corner, and all of a sudden you see an old one standing there With selling Twix. bottles of Coke and Twixes. Oh, that's great. Jesus. And that, to me, was just... I, I couldn't believe it. I did start to notice that there was Twixes everywhere. Of all consumable items, Coke is yeah. everywhere. But yeah. What is amazing about Coke is that you can get a Coke in the Kenyan desert, mm-hmm. yeah. and you can get a Coke in uh, Trickies and Sligo, yeah. and they're exactly the same. Yeah, yeah. that's very good. Uh, you know, it's incredible for to, to make a product that can be so... Consistent. Why yeah. can't Guinness all around? Oh, why, why can't Guinness get a decent pint in a pub in America? Or Smithix. Or Smithix. Ah, Smithix can't travel. So, Smithix yeah, travels Smithix, out of whatever it it's made, well. and, and a couple of miles on the road, it just goes off. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't <laughs> it travel well. Tough man, Smithix. Because you were talking about it on, the, on one of the podcasts as well about how not at a whole pile of people drinking anymore. Yeah. So like, because. We, I, I, I got into drinking it for a while because it's great. You just you're tipping along nicely. I love it. It's a big pint of fizzy nothing. Like you just, <laughs> yeah. it is like I um, love it. And it's it's light enough as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. very light. It's, like, it's what three point eight or four? Oh, is it three point eight? Is that a clue? I think it's yeah. yeah I think it's like it is very light. Yeah, you, you could maybe have two and drive. Yeah, I'd you, say you probably could. Yeah, and if you want to drink more, lads, not no, not no, anymore. Yeah. Good old Shane Ross. Yeah, where is he? Huh? Where is he? Fuck's sake, we, we get him in. We get him in. It's yeah, get him in. Healy Rays, but fucking lock the door. Got the Healy Rays, but Healy Rays are having a horrible yeah. time at the minute yeah. now. They, they said really it's the are. death of rural Ireland. Is now, what they said. Part of me kind of went, lads, I can see where you're coming from. That you're, you're. It's a real grey line. But I can see where they're coming from. But at the same time, Mr. Ross is right. 
You just shouldn't be at it. You shouldn't be at it. You shouldn't. If you're yeah. driving... Yeah, yeah. And, and in fairness, if, if any of us here did have a family member who, who did die from a drink driving accident, uh-huh. we, we'd, we'd feel completely different about it. But um, to move away from this point and move on to Google Cars... <laughs> Well, <laughs> I'll just tell That's you, you what I'm going to save. I'm delighted you did that because <laughs> our podcast took an awful turn for the political there. <laughs> it, it really did. We you don't right, want me to get political, lads. We're right in the middle of the all there, and I was afraid that was going to go, but you're right, yeah. Google cows. They're going to save our fucking really our livelihood. Well, 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 what's well, this the story is loosely connected now. Oh, you mean yeah. like you mean like assisted driving? Yeah, mm. so you can get into the car and say, pub. Yeah, I um, get a horn, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just, oh, no, no. I'm around in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. This is not your car. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be balls now if you were locked now trying yeah. to get into a sister car now. Just like, oh, take me to Shauna's house. Yeah, <laughs> that's, right. you know, that's what's gonna happen. You know. But the car in Virginia, are you sure? <laughs> are you sure now you want to go? Yeah, I'm I do, sure. I do, I do, I'm sure. Are you sure now? Last time you got back in after a couple of minutes, I was bringing you home. I was bringing you Don't home. Waste no, 20 miles so. Oh my God. No, so she texts me. I'm telling you, she texts me. I'm telling you, come on. What What is the future going to be like? It's, it's going to be full of uh, good cows. Yeah, yeah. Bringing us are they everywhere. going to be called cow? Yeah. The Google cow. Get into the Google cow. <laughs> it'll take you anywhere, hi. I'm not so sure. <laughs> but like, <laughs> and it'll take you back. <laughs> do, you know what, do you know what that'll do in 50 years? Or maybe 70 years? Is it'll make the cars that we have now skyrocket in value because countries will be going do you remember when you used to drive your car yeah yeah I'd love to get one of those you used to actually drive your own yeah. car I'd be selling the O4 Audi for about 50 grand and I'd love to get maybe a car or two from now and just mm, a brand so new bad. one mm. and storage it yeah mm. but sure I suppose maybe 50 years there'd be nothing to put in it again yeah, what, what, what do you want to get a Dacia <laughs> Like, <laughs> Why would I get it's a hard to know which one's going to become classics because you're saying yeah I have a car from 1978 it's a classic yeah, yeah but you know like is it a Morris Minor like that's or true yeah. yeah yeah. you kind of have to be very careful too uh, she shows you I have a question for you Dara mm-hmm. you have big stuff in the pipeline do I, I did a small bit of research from Morton Mark <laughs> uh, on you so did I actually and uh, before we come in here you have something happening on Culture Night Wait, where did you you're do doing that? an animation where did you hear that I never you mind <laughs> Have you mind? We have our sources. Cool. Shouldn't we find out this lads in the stripes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, w- w- Wikipedia told you that. But you're doing an animation with two folks. With two uh, Polish animators. That's right. Uh, Pavel and Kasia. I got sponsored by the arts office in Cavan. You did? Um, to That's a big thing to get yeah, done. it's a huge thing. That's the government giving you the few pounds. Oh, big time. And yeah, saying, yeah, yeah. we appreciate what you're doing. Oh, absolutely. And it's yeah, nice yeah. to get that because when you're making music, a lot of the time you're kind of wondering, am I ever going to make a few pounds off this at all? Like? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know, yeah. we're hoping this particular episode now catapults us with the 2E into the big time. <laughs> yeah. And we, we can set up a Patreon page and get people to throw a few pounds in and everything. It's going to be great. The four of us, really. Look, <laughs> the, there's, a, there's a brilliant project in, Ka- in Cavan called Kush Chinna. They managed to uh, somehow magic a bit of cash out of the air to uh, put this animation together for that tune, Sean Law. Now, we spoke about this. Mm. I don't know where you were, we spoke about this. Uh, yes, I am. We had a long, long debate over a couple of episodes about the bog. Yes. And, and I'm very I heard your bog. song... Yes. Sean Love and I be honest with you I was blown away yeah no. you guys and you, you might hear it tonight yeah. you this, sure yeah. hear it tonight absolutely you're exactly. playing in trickies tonight and, and can so, I ask yeah, a yeah but that means nothing now because no, this no, is going to be you out. missed it folks you're back in trickies it yeah. was when, 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 I'll tell you when, when, when are we next in trickies we're in, we're in trickies um, on the, the first Friday of October the first Friday of October so let you chalk that down and Whatever it's Dara Slack in the palpitations Dr. Slack in the palpitations Dr. Slack in the palpitations you know doctor I always wanted to be a doctor and have palpitations as well can I ask you could you sing it live? Yes, yes. We, we, we do you, a different arrangement. If we handed you a guitar there now, could you sing it? Okay, yeah. Oh, we didn't, he didn't expect this, did he? Oh, no. Mark, would you throw out the guitar yeah. there? Yeah, quish, no. This is a guitar, Dara. <laughs> is that what that is? Yeah. How Six do you, strings. How, how do you drive that? No, she's not like a saxophone now. She didn't. Don't be blown into it. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to blast it out, Dara? Yes. Sweet, man.
hardy as a brick On a freezing winter's day And his black coat duffel With a pike on each arm Hands like a shovel Hail, rain or shiny slice Bog like butter Work a twelve hour day Ate a back door butter Smoked turf like fags Had a tweed cap and rags Men came a hundred mile To buy his peat bog bags Sean Love Sean Love Then came a day from the bottom of the bog When a heifer fell in and the priest sold dog Plenty were praying, the hearts beating fast Everybody thought that they'd breathe their last To the turf on a muck, on a twin wheel truck Came a giant of a man who always gave a fuck For the meek and the small, he'd risk it all Everybody knew only one lad to call Sean Love Sean Law. Sean Law. Thank you for oh Christ, Thank you for letting me do that. That's very nice. Thank you. Just I enjoyed that no end. I felt like I was on TG4. <laughs> do you know them them scenes in TG4 where they're in the, up inside in the pub and there's someone playing and every and there's like there's like your father and mother type couple sitting in the front with the shoulders going up and down. <laughs> yeah. Do you know? Yeah, just loving yeah, life they're on yeah. TG4. Cheers <laughs> to tell you that was not a bad tent episode. That was beautiful. That's all. It's it was absolutely good. amazing. There's a lot to be said for four lads sitting in a box room of a Saturday afternoon. This is with jelly tots, cider, and harp, and harp, and harp lager, <laughs> oh, huh? and Cavan cider, and feelings. Cavan cider, yeah. Cavan cider as well. That's fair play to you for doing it. So, yes, for having us. So, like, what's the message? Nice. Keep it. Just keep an eye out on what the stripes are doing, and then keep an eye on what Doctor Slack and the palpitations are yeah, doing. Yeah, mm-hmm. until Google cars come in and yeah. save, save us all. <laughs> <laughs> and folks, this episode was sponsored by the Google, Google cars. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Lads, Jeez. thanks for it. And fair play to us for having you, lads. We're some men. Absolutely. Fair play to you, know yeah. Are, Jesus, he's a really cool flying men now. now, yeah. Jesus. And lads, fair play to Sean Riley. And, and fair, fair play to Sean Riley. Well done, Sean. Well done, Sean. Sean Riley. Thanks, lads. Pop We'll see you soon. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs>